So this week at work, I have a lot on. I've had so many hours compared to what I'm used to. And sure, I'm going to be making a lot of money this week and next week. That means I really don't have any time to work on my own personal goals, my own personal endeavors, such as creating and growing this YouTube channel. Essentially, my life for the last week has been wake up, go for a run, eat, go to work, get home from work, eat, and then sort of have two hours or three hours in the evening to sort of relax and do my own thing. And I feel like I've really got a taste of what the nine to five grind, the nine to five life is going to be like. And I know for me personally, I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to sustain that, maintain that for very long. And so I know that in myself, I really need to put in the work now to be able to break out of that lifestyle and go live the life that I actually want to live. I've worked every day this week, except for today, Sunday, my rest day. And I've come back home exhausted most days, mentally exhausted mostly because I'm dealing with so many people. And when you come home physically exhausted, it's very hard to, first of all, find the motivation to actually work on this. But secondly, it's also hard to come up with the creativity needed to actually produce content, make good videos, come up with good ideas and do all of that stuff. So unfortunately for this week, I've sort of accepted the fact that my social media grind, what I want to achieve with that has had to be put on pause. And I'm really just focusing on work for the next week or so. And sure, the money is going to be good. It's going to allow me to do a few more things for the channel. I might be buying a new camera, but I also want to put a bit more money into the software and the automation of setting up my sort of online business. Anyway, that doesn't really matter. The point of this video was to say to you that whatever your goal is in life, the best thing you can really do is figure out how much money you need to earn every week to be able to maintain the current lifestyle that you're living and then perhaps earn $100, $200 extra on top of that to really help grow your savings. You might want to save up for something, go on a holiday, whatever that is. Once you figure that out, so it might be hopefully if you're young like me, living at home is relatively cheap. Hopefully, you know, maybe your parents might help contribute towards food or something like that. But realistically, my hope is that perhaps you only need maybe $300 a week or $200 a week to actually get by and to live. And then that means, you know, perhaps in a week's span, you only need to earn $500 to be able to, first of all, live comfortably and also put a bit of money away into savings. So once you've figured out whatever that value is for yourself, you need to think to yourself, okay, what are the minimum, the lowest amount of hours I can work in a week? to be able to achieve that goal. So for most people my age, we're probably earning about $25 to $30 an hour just working a minimum wage job. So obviously we'll say $500 for example because that's pretty straightforward. If you need to earn $500 a week and you're earning $25 an hour, that means you only need to put in 20 hours worth of work. So that might just be, shall we say, three eight-hour shifts so, you know, you might put aside three days a week where you just focus on work and you just sort of live through the motions. But then those other four days, that's where you can focus on this. That's where you can focus on your passion. That's where you can focus on growing your social media. That's where you can focus on all sorts of other things that you are genuinely interested in. And so I think instead of working this nine to five grind, maybe five or six days a week, Instead, just work out what the minimum amount of work you need to do is and then go out there, be very honest with your employer, your boss, whoever's in charge of paying you and say to them, look, I have these goals. I understand you want me to work more, but can we come to some sort of agreement and arrangement where it both benefits us? And I just think I've really realized how important that is now in sort of what I want to do and going forward into the future, that's something I want to prioritize. I want to set my intentions very clearly from the beginning with whoever I'm working for. I only want to work three days a week, preferably if they're all lined up. That would be fantastic. If they're not, that's okay. But hopefully you can sort of follow what I'm talking about and then leave those three, four or five days every single week to really go work hard on your passion. Just one other thing I really wanted to say 
is we all have a finite amount of time in our lives. While we're young, while we're 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 years old, we have way too much free time. And you just look at anyone our age, if we're not at uni, if we're not at work, if we're not doing some sort of sport, chances are we're sitting in front of the TV, scrolling on social media, really not doing anything productive with our time. And I think every single old person has ever said to me, I wish I used my time better when I was younger. And so I feel like for me, that free time that I do have now, I really, really want to try and use it on more productive things to help my future self. Obviously, I'm still very young, almost 20 years old. But my hope is that if I sacrifice this year, next year, the next few years of my life, really build something that I'm genuinely proud of online and in person, then my 24-year-old self, my 25-year-old self will say, thank you, young McCallum. Thank you for sacrificing now because I'm enjoying my life as a 25-year-old. I know this video really isn't up to the standard that I'd like it to be, but unfortunately I have run out of time to do that this week. So I still want to stay true to at least uploading a video every week. Here is my video. I hope that if you know me personally, you got something out of this and you can talk to me about it. If you don't know me personally, I do have a community down below where I sort of really go in depth into a lot of different aspects in my life and really just teach the most crucial things. So the best diet for productivity, the best diet for bulking. I want to sort of work on doing some stuff to help optimize your testosterone levels, get better sleep run better, work out better, be more confident, dress, like all of that stuff. I have so many plans. I genuinely wrote down a list not too long ago where I want to make a course on this and this and this because I have genuinely got advice to give you. I just have been really lazy. Yeah, I have been really lazy. I've been working too much and I haven't been prioritizing creating content as much as I'd like to. So that's all I really want to say. Thank you to whoever's supporting me out there. You know who you are. I'll see you in the next video.